Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. This is Chuck. Thank you for stopping by. Today we have some caddy armor and we have some RMA armor. So we have steel, coated steel. We also have the ceramic type armor. So this is a level three plus. You've seen my video where I just literally just rocked this thing, rocked it to pieces. And so we also have a level four in the ceramic armor. And what I did is I found some 7mm08 Fort Scott 2 ammo, and I was inspired by the 243 video that Buffman Range did. So make sure you go check out his video. But he did a really great video on that. So 7mm08. I took that and pulled the bullets and loaded them into 7 mag using Barnes data. So we did two lot numbers. First lot number... We did in some Nosler brass, and this lot number had 70.1 grains of IMR4831. And the second one I used Barnes, and it had 70.5 grains of IMR4831. We shot this lot at the ceramic, and we shot this one at the Caddy Armor Steel. So yes, we've already shot the plates, and I've already done most of the filming for this, and I'm going back and doing the intro second. So first, we're going to shoot these over the chronograph, see how fast they're actually going. The Barnes data is for a 24-inch barrel. I am using a 26-inch barrel, so yes, it is smoking out of that barrel. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I got five rounds of the Fort Scott Munitions 7mm 120 grain Tui ammo tumble upon impact that I loaded. Let's see how fast it's going here. Thirty-five ninety-three. Thirty-five sixty-eight. Blew my chronograph back. Let me go fix that. Put it back in the picture here. Thirty-five ninety-five. Thirty-five sixty-three. Thirty-five seventy-five. Wow, that was a lot faster than the loading manual said with the one twenty grain bullet with Barnes. Check out the Adam slide, then we'll do the penetration test. All right, it's been a few months since I started this project. Got that two E ammunition, and we are going to shoot it over the chronograph. This is the second batch. And then the first batch you saw me shoot several months ago. Here's the second batch. Let me put one in the chamber. Here we go. 35.59. Hmm. 35.27. Huh. Getting slower than I did with the first batch. Weird. Way slower. Well, I was hoping to go 3600 or something like that, but it's only going 35, low 35s, and that was with more powder charge. So that was weird. Put in the comments if you think maybe it was just the brass or what it was. 3520-ish, 3530-ish. Do you think it'll go through a level 4 armor plate? Stick around and find out. So here's our add-up slide. Sorry, I only had three shots for the higher grain of powder. That's all I had left. I tried to make two videos out of this one box. There's a 7mm08 video, so go check that out. I thought it was very interesting. Standard deviations aren't horrible. It was like my first time using the alignment machine when I was chopping the powder. So, tell me what you think. 
Do you think this will go through armor? Put it in the comments. Let's see. All right, here we go. 7mm rim mag, 2E ammo from Fort Scott Munitions. Loaded up. It's going 3570 out of this 26 inch barrel. As you guys saw in the add up slide, you know the numbers better than I do. I haven't edited the video yet. So here we go. Let's see if it goes right through it. It's got a pretty good din in it. Let's see. Well, it looks like it dented it, but it did not go through. It did not go through. Dang, that's a severe dent. It's the biggest dent I've seen in it. 3,500 feet per second. Let's take it off the back here. Let's see, back face deformation right there. Did not go through. gum! I cannot believe that. Caddy armor. Makes good stuff. Looks like the spalling is a little thicker on this one. I got the build-up coat on this one. Still could be a little thicker spalling, but two in the same spot would go through, I think. But, or near the same spot. I don't think one's not going through, though. I thought with that little dink in there, it had gone through, but it did not. It did dent the box of newspapers in a little bit. It's crazy. I can't believe it stopped it. 2E ammo, not armor piercing at 3,500 feet per second. Here we go, 2E ammo, 7 mag, 120 grain, full charge of IMR 4831. Let's see what we get, 26 inch barrel, 7 mag, RMA, level 4, ceramic plate. All right, it made a pretty good hole in that plate. I don't know if we got it or not, let's see. As you can tell, my microphone has totally crapped out by now, so I'm voicing over this, but it did not go through. It did not go through right there, and you can kind of tell on the back face the deformation there. It's a big bulge. It did dent the box of newspapers in, and we could not find the bullet in the plate itself, so I'm thinking it bounced out or shattered, and it went really deep in there. If I could have got it over 3,600 feet per second or 3,650, I bet it would have gone in, gone through, but I just didn't have the ability at the time. And we're out of <laughs> out of those bullets until they restock the reloading with the ammo crisis. Some final conclusions. Let you see the damage up close and in the light here. That's what we got on the steel plate several months ago. I'm not even really worried about it. I actually wear this one in the back of my carrier because I want ceramic up front for splatter reasons. But, you know, I don't even think a 2 through 3 will pierce that as much abuse as this caddy armor took when I busted one up pretty good. So I actually stuck this back in my plate carrier just like it is. Kind of disappointed it didn't go through, but man, did it really rock. And that is the deepest dent that we ever got in one of these caddy armor plates. RMA also stopped at level 4. Not rated for that, going a lot faster. Never found the bullet in it. I don't know if it bounced out or what happened. But probably bounced out or just splattered in there. Just all sorts of damage in there. You can see. It's pretty crazy. Definitely have to go back to the drawing board. You guys got a better bullet to suggest that you could find we'll hand load it up and see what we can do but this plate's still good i'm not going to cut it open and tear away the layers in order to find the bullet i'm going to still shoot some spots on it here or there until it's no good at all there's plenty of tests on these plates so i would definitely check these out they were really good to me. They did not send it. I did buy it, but they were really good to me. And, you know, 
helped me get it up here with the shipping and everything. Thank you for Patreon members for letting me buy this armor to test. It really does come from the Patreon members. YouTube has been demonetizing armor videos. You guys have a suggestion what to try next? Thinking about a 22-250, but Patreon is going to have to go up for that so I can get a McGowan barrel and a AR-10 upper for that. So y'all let me know what you think.